Hello, beautiful soul! It's time to connect with our angels, to bring their love, to bring their guidance for the week of the 30th of July through the 5th of August 2018. It's a new month during this week, lots of energy, new beginnings. They are asking us a lot to take action and to also trust and be careful with the manifestation that we are going through right now because everything we've been working on, everything we are thinking about, we are saying is actually coming to life. So let's connect with our angels, let's bring their guidance and let's see what they are expecting, what they are offering us for this wonderful week. So if this is your first time here, I want to invite you to go to the subscribe button below, click on the bell right next to it, so you will get notifications whenever I post a new angel guidance or any new video here in my channel. If also, if you don't know who I am, my name is Maria. It's a pleasure to have you here. It's a pleasure to have you joining our beautiful souls family. I'm here to help you grow your spirituality, to help you improve your health, to help you connect in a deeper level with yourself and with the angelic realm. So remember to go to the subscribe button below so you will be part of our tribe. Okay, so for this week, I will be using the Daily Guidance from your Angels Oracle deck. This is by the Ring Virtual, we have 44 cards in this deck. It's very easy to use this one. The, the cards are very, very self-explanatory actually. It's easy to connect with the energy of the cards. Beautiful cards actually. Purple color, divine energy, lots of beautiful and loving energy for us during this week. So I invite you now to close your eyes. Let's start shifting in words. Let's start bringing light to us and inviting our angels to surround us with their light, with their love, with their high vibration, touching our hearts, touching the cards, bringing the right message for Monday and Tuesday first. And asking them to speak through me, asking them to, to choose the cards that is going to resonate with all of us, that is going to bring the right message, it's going to make sense to us for this wonderful week. So let's continue to shuffle and let's see which card, and there you go, here you are, Monday and Tuesday, let's see, talking about um, purple talking about violet color we got a violet color card talking about divinity so it says release and surrender my dear very important beginning the month surrendering and it says we shower you with blessings of our radiant love open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands open your hands and arms and heart to our love and assistance. Wonderful, my dear. Like I was talking about with you, it's so important right now. There are many things happening for all of us individually and as a collective consciousness. There's a lot of energy, a lot of shifts happening. And be careful not to be holding yourself on difficulties, on challenges that are actually quite easy to be dismantled, to be um, dissolved, what they are asking you is to begin your week, you know, in this state of trust, in this state of releasing the blockages, releasing your beliefs. Remember, my dear, the beliefs that we have also are creating your reality. So surrender to the angels and invite them to come forward and help you let go of any belief that is in, in, in regards to disbelieving any kind of thought that is coming to you that is making you not trust that it's possible to reach your dreams, that it's possible to reach your goals, that it's possible to manifest anything you want in your life. Invite your angels during the beginning of this week, asking them to touch your heart and shift this vibration within you. Because this is when you surrender, this is when you let go, this is when you allow the angels to come to your life to start shifting things, to start bringing to you what you truly want, because you are allowing them, because you're not holding tightly 
to beliefs that are not serving you, to beliefs that are simply keeping you stuck. So if you feel stuck, if you feel like you don't know what to do, surrender, my dear, like they said, open your arms, open your heart to their love because they are here to bring you the abundance of life in every area of your life. They are here to bring you the happiness and the peace that you truly deserve. So surrender, let go of the disbelieving, give yourself a chance. Give yourself a, a, the opportunity to shift your energy, to shift your vibration and trust for once. Trust, completely trust that your angels are with you, that they are helping you, that they are guiding you, the universe is taking care of you. Okay, my dear, and you will see that beautiful things will happen for you throughout the month of August. Like I said, many, many shifts, many uh, new beginnings, many new, there's a lot of new energy. The energy is being renovated actually, and there's a lot of growth for all of us. So don't stay stuck. Open your arms to receive, open your hearts to your angels, and they can come forward and help you actually, and show you with clarity which way to go and what to do next. Okay? Remember, it's really, really important to let go. Wonderful card. Beautiful way to begin the week. So let's move on now because we are going for Wednesday and Thursday, the first days of the month of August. And let's see what the angels want you to know once again. Shuffling the cards and continue to ask them to choose the right card. I will continue to shuffle until they actually... Uh, choose the right card until the card pops up or they tell me to stop and pick up whatever card they want and there you go okay let's talk about this once again as always I have my cards always flying okay there's lots of energy when I do this guidance and every single time I do an angel guidance the cards fly away it's just a matter of showing us that there is a lot of energy that the angels are actually here Give me one second because the cards are on the floor and I will pick them up. Just a second. Okie dokie. Oh my. Okay, so here we go. We got actually two cards. Yeah, here you go. Uh, actually, there was plenty of them, but two of them were actually in a different way. So that's the one they want me to take. First, family, my dear. Beginning the week with family energy. So it says, this situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which we can help you to understand and heal. In your mind and heart, surround this person, yourself, and the experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. My dear, this is an invitation for you to heal any relationship, to heal any problems with anyone in your family, with your loved ones, by asking the angels to help by asking Archangel Raphael, by asking the guardian angels to come forward, the healing angels, the angels of love, surround this person, take a deep breath in, close your eyes right now. I invite you to close your eyes, choose someone in your family that you want healing to happen, that you want the relationship to heal. And look and visualize this person in your eyes, in your mind's eyes, and visualize this person surrounded by blue light, by this peaceful light, and visualize the angels holding this person, surrounding this person with this beautiful healing light. And start to shift the vibration between and around this person. Okay, it's important, like I said, trust and bring peace to your heart. Understand that the angels can help. Understand that they are already helping. They are already there for each and every one of you in your family, caring for you. So invite even more of their love, of their energy, and stay at peace with yourself. Stay in love, in the energy of love, and understand that they can help you, understand that they can guide you. Okay, my dear, so beautiful. The next card, talking about that, the same situation. There is nothing to worry about. 
you are safe and the situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. My dear, again, talking about the family. Remember, if there is anyone that you need to heal, any kind of problems, any kind of relationship problems, any kind of healing in itself, physical healing, don't worry. Surround this person with your own love. Send love to this person. Send love to your whole family if you just want to raise the vibration of love within your family. Send more love to the hearts of all these people and invite the angels, visualize them actually surrounding your entire family with their light, with their love. Let go, understand that they are there for you, understand they, that they are helping you and every one of you with their love, with their guidance, with the divine light. Okay, my dear, trust the angels, invite them to be in your home, to be with your family, and they will do that. Okay, beautiful, so beautiful. So let's move on for the weekend. Now, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, let's continue to shuffle and get the cards that the angels want, choosing the right cards, choosing the right message. I'll continue to shuffle again until a card flies away <laughs> or the angels pick up the right card. Let's see how it goes. And it's here. Okay, cool. So they, okay, three cards. I told you there's so much energy this week. Now, steady progress, my dear. Moving forward, we acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you are making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. My dear, so beautiful. The angels want you to understand that they do acknowledge the beautiful progress you're making inwards with yourself, in your work with you, in your work in the, with the alignment of yourself with divine love. And they want you to understand that you are being guided towards even more love, towards even more light, even more improvements. They are just giving you these cards to let you know that they do recognize all the efforts. They do recognize all the beautiful things, the beautiful energy you bring to this world with your heart, with your pure heart, with your pure energy. And they want you to understand that this is so much worth of being like this. And they want you to understand that you will be bringing even more of this love because you are love. You are in alignment with it. Even though there are difficulties in our daily life, it's normal. But still, they want you to understand that the love that lives within you is your strength. And they want you to know that they do see it. They do see your love that you are carrying within you and they do recognize and there are many many gifts coming for you many blessings coming for you because of this alignment with love wonderful <gasps> more it's fine i'm sorry i have to pick it up oh gosh there is so much energy it is amazing my god okay let's move forward i hope you guys are feeling it also because i'm feeling there is so much energy right now next cards daydream you will more easily hear and receive our messages in your daydream regularly relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts so important just notice any feelings visions or ideas as if you were watching a movie this is the seat of creativity my dear, they want you to understand, take the opportunity in the week and to sit down and simply breathe. Don't go into a guided meditation or anything like this. Just stay in words and breathe. And you will see that the angels will start to create images in front of you as if you're watching a movie, literally. Don't allow your ego to tell you that that's not real. This is the way the angels communicate with you. So pay attention. Take actually some time during the weekend to daydream, to simply sit and acknowledge and simply be observant 
of the images, of the words, of the feelings that are coming through, because these are all messages from the angels. These are all ways of communicating and connecting with them, of receiving their guidance to your heart. So use this technique because it's very powerful. I personally always use it. It's very powerful. You receive guidance from them very easily in this way by simply staying in this state of breathing and allowing your third eye to show you whatever you need the most for that specific day. Okay, very, very powerful. And the next card, opportunity to forgive so important begin your august by forgiving my dear the situation brings you the opportunity to heal grow and release negative patterns hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness we will help you release unforgiving thoughts feelings and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion my dear forgiveness is so deeply important it's so powerful it's one of the most powerful ways of transformation is letting go of thoughts that are harming you that are hurting you remember when you forgive you're not doing it for the other person forgiveness is all about inner work it's all about you choosing yourself and saying from now on i choose me from now on i choose my own happiness take this opportunity like i said it's the beginning of a new month there's so much energy coming through you take this opportunity to detach from these negative thoughts that are just harming you that are not serving you for anything take this opportunity to open your heart for divine healing for angelic healing the angels are saying that they are here to help you heal. They are here to help you move on. They will help you let go. They will help you to forgive. And they will bring you to a higher place, to a place of deep peace, to a place where you will find yourself again. So ask the angels, invite them to come to, to, to touch your heart and to help you let go, to help you see the future without these feelings, without this heaviness, to help you understand that there is so much more to come, so much more beautiful things to come, loving things to come, blessings to come for you when you let go of these feelings, when you forgive, when you detach from the past. Okay, so beautiful, so powerful. I invite you right now to write down in the comments, I now open my heart for the divine healing energy for my angels to come forward and to walk with me throughout this week, healing my heart, bringing me peace, aligning me with divine love, so I can find myself again and I can manifest everything I want. Okay, I know it's a long phrase, but you can keep pausing it and writing it down. Remember, it's really important when you write, when you state to yourself, when you say it constantly, that you are in alignment, that you are a being of love. You start to literally, you are telling your own vibration, your own energy, to come into alignment, to return to yourself. And this is gonna to start to change, your energy starts to shift. So I invite you to state this downstairs, downstairs, down in the comments below. So you will be bringing it to the world. world. You will be aligning your vibration and your energy with the love that lives already within you. Okay, I know your guidance went a little bit longer today, but you saw it, there was so much energy during this week. I wish you a wonderful and a blessed week, my dear. Take good care of yourself. I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here, for being part of our energy, of our tribe, of our beautiful souls family. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your existence and for allowing yourself to be here, to trust yourself in your angels, okay? Have a blessed week, have a blessed month. Many blessings to you and to your family. Take good care of yourself and I talk to you soon again. Namaste.